I'm Trisha from SkiTalk.com and I'm here today with Wix, one of our product testers, and we're going to talk to you today about the Bent 90. So let's talk. First of all, I'm going to say you cannot talk about the Bent family from Atomic Skis without talking about the art. Many of you know that Chris Bent Chetler is an amazing skier, an amazing ski athlete, and he's involved in a deep way into the innovation and the design of the skis. However, something that you might not know is he's also an amazing artist. Chris Bent Chetler has designed the, all of the artwork for the top sheets of the Bent family of skis. And it's extraordinary. If you get a chance to take a look at the YouTube video with Chris Bent Chetler painting the mural in the Amher Corporation headquarters in uh, Ogden, Utah, you really have to see it. It's, it's pretty spectacular. But now that we're done talking about the art, Let's talk about the skis themselves. Yeah. Um, so the Atomic Bent 90. This is the introductory model to the Bent family. They do have a Bent 85 as well. That is more of the park specific ski. Um, so really when we're talking about the, the lineup as a whole, um, the 90 is really where it starts. In particular, this ski comes in at 118 at the tip, 90 waist, and 109 in the tail. One of the pieces of technology in the Bent family is called Horizon Tech Tip and Tail. It's HRZN, so I have to ask you, do you want to buy a vowel? The Horizon Tech you can, can be seen here along with the beautiful base artwork and in the tail as well. What the Horizon Tech does is it makes the ski a little bit more floaty and surfy without adding extra width to the base itself. Um, and that's a key word that I would use with this with the Bent 90 is it's pretty surfy. Yeah, pretty surfy, pretty playful. Um, again, looking at say their 100 series, mm -hmm. um, this to me does feel a slight bit beefier but they're still pretty lightweight overall i mean for an introductory model ski and its price point it's really hard to go wrong i mean if you're one of those skiers who maybe is just trying to relax a little more maybe play a little off piece play a little on piece even maybe do a little bit of park like this is a great great ski yeah and i would say if we, if somebody were to ask me who is this ski for I would say it's for maybe a tweener that's coming off of a junior ski and is ready for an adult ski and they think they might play around in the park, they might ski switch a little bit, but they want something floaty and all mountain oriented. Yeah, I mean any any beginner, intermediate could find a great, great use from this ski. I certainly wouldn't hesitate if it was my first ski. And <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so who's it not for? It's not for somebody who's a super hard charger, I would say. Um, and my insider tip is if you are a little bit more of a charger and you want some of the technology that's in this ski, but you want something that's going to be a little bit more aggressive, then I would try the Backland Freeride side of Atomic's offerings. Yeah. I mean, Atomic makes great skis all around. Absolutely. And it just depends like what your flavor is. Are you more of a surfier or are you more of a carver charger? Yeah. yeah. Do you like chocolate or do you like vanilla? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like both. So remember, at the end of the day, skiing, skiing is fun. fun. To read the full review of this ski, please go to skitalk.com and click on the review tab. Please also hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more reviews and other ski related content and add thoughts in the comment section below. Of course, follow SkiTalk.com on all of our social media channels. No shark attacks were encountered during the production of this video.